Alright, hi guys, my name is Shalane Hughes. I'm Colleen. <laughs> That's Seze, and welcome to our channel. So cute. Yeah. So her nose is so soft. Yeah. Feel my nose. Is my nose soft? It's a little bit rough, but. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So, this vlog, I am going to go in depth about Seze's name and where it came from. So. Seze's name has technically been planned since about 10 years ago. As I'm sure a lot of y'all might remember this movie right here. So that came out in 2009 and I was about 11 or 12 whenever I had actually seen the movie. And it is like probably the only like really sci-fi kind of movie that I actually like. Uh, I'm not really that big of a sci-fi fan. So when I seen this movie, it was interesting to me to see like all the different creatures that they had in the movie, um, the different people, the tribes. It was very, very interesting to me. And movie Avatar, we meet Nitiri, I think is how you say her name. Anyway, and what they have on the movie is dragons or as they call them in the movie is mountain banshees. So, Natiri's mountain banshee is named Seze. That is how I got the name Seze. At that time, I was wanting a blue roan or a roan horse by like these guys right here. And at that time, I wasn't really sure of all of the breeds of the horses, of like your name breeds for barrel racing, like Frenchman's Guy or whatever. I knew of Pepto Boonsmall that I really liked and I knew of Blue Valentine. Those were like the two really, cause I was just starting to learn about the Rones and everything in the barrel racing industry, Western industry. I liked the Rone color. So I kind of wanted about a red strawberry Rone, blue Rone or something like that. I just knew that I wanted a Rone. And so at that time, I was maybe like 12, 13 years old, and I already knew that I wanted a roan. I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to get a roan because we didn't really have roans. We had sorrels and we had Tarzan, which he's a little Palomino pony, and we have Lily. <laughs> so, that's all I knew that I wanted in Bloodlines was a Blue Valentine or Pepto Boone's mom. I did not know what else I wanted. Really, the only other thing that I wanted was to have a horse that was related to the racing industry that had Secretariat, War Admiral, Man of War, any of those bloodlines I would have been happy with. Let alone, I did not know nine years later that I would buy a mare with those racing bloodlines. And then I didn't know that 10 years later I would actually have that wrong baby that was a total and complete surprise. So that is how Seze got her name is because of this movie and the, and the Mountain Banshee is because I knew that if I was going to have another mare and especially if I was going to have a roan, it was going to be a banshee because if we we're all being serious, mares are pretty much banshees. <laughs> so that was my little joke there um, whenever I came up with that name and it was just something that I knew was going to happen after I had named Seze when she was born Seze uh I looked in more to it she her sire has blue valentine in um uh, so in on her sire side there's blue there's azul which means blue in Spanish and I looked on the avatar stuff and in their lang their language in the movie 
says they actually means blue flower too. So I thought how everything just went all together was actually pretty cool. So I hope that y'all all understand where I'm coming from with this. I would say that a lot of our horses, um, the animals too, are really, because Lily and her brother Tiger kind of got like a little name going there of on Peter Pan, Tiger Lily, the little Indian girl. So they split the name. Uh, we have Lady, Lady and the Tramp, Tarzan, the movie Tarzan. Uh, I didn't rename Foxy. I renamed Sonny, but that was a different reason. He doesn't really have um, like a movie name or anything. Um, we have a rooster named Georgie. And that was kind of like uh, Georgie off of Heartland. We like that name. Um, I have Affleck, a duck named Affleck. She's white. <laughs> I have another duck named Ming Ming from, I can't remember what the show is called, where it's got like the little hamster turtle and duck, Ming Ming. Um, I have Mickey, cause he has two pom poms on his head. Um, I'm trying to think, Delilah, the only really time that I've heard Delilah was on a radio station. Uh, I like that name. And then, Chloe has a duck named Mallory. Um, she's also playing on Heartland, or she used to play on Heartland whenever it first started. So there's a lot of, you can see kind of a theme here with all of our dogs, uh, or the dogs, animals, Marmaduke, another dog name that is on TV, uh, the cats. All of our animals have some kind of theme to them, and it's just like what we come up with during that time. Millie, she hasn't... That was just a name that we had picked out for her. That was not really anything that was like a movie or anything that was planned. We were trying to come up with a name. So she, we played around with her name for a little bit. But so that's where I just wanted to go ahead and break it down to you how Seze got her name. And yeah, the meaning behind it and everything. And who knows what's going to happen next. <laughs> So I hope that y'all enjoyed this, but I'm going to go ahead and close it out with Chloe and Seze. I is hot. I am sweating. As Chloe would say, I don't sweat. I glisten. ka Ka-chow. Ka All right. So Ka we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. And what better way to do it but with closing it with Seze, the one that the vlog is about. You yeah. got it? You got it? Oh, you twitched a little. <laughs> <laughs> You're not right. supposed to drop it. And I got Coley right here with me. All right, guys. So we will be seeing y'all next week. All right, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Hi, Daddy. And we will be seeing y'all next week.